to another episode of the Sneaker Duo. I am Hannah. And I'm Michael. And as you can see, we have another really cool pair of shoes to show today. That's right. Before we get into the video, make sure you like and subscribe down below. Really punch that like button for us. You follow us up here on our Instagram account. And as always, ring that notification bell to be notified of all of our future content. It really does help us out. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's do it. Alright guys, so we're back with another video for you. As you may or may not be able to tell, our video quality may be a little bit better and our audio may finally be kind of good. <laughs> uh, we're uh, borrowing one of our friends' uh, cameras and their audio setup, just kind of see how we like it. And yeah. Let us know down below if you think it's a huge improvement or not much improvement at all and we'll maybe go from there yeah. and see what we can do. But um, this is kind of rolling off our recent awesome luck we had on Sneakers app a couple weeks ago when Hannah got like two shoes and I got a shoe yeah. and out at the beach. And, and now it's slowly declining where our hot streak is <laughs> kind of ended. <laughs> yeah, I think it's been like five or six L's back to back to back. Yeah. So, but anyway, holding out strong for, for maybe some trees in the future. Yeah, but, I mean, there's always hope. Yeah, but today's video um, is, you may or may not be a tell from the box, is going to be the Nike Dunk uh, Fragment Collaboration, which I was pretty pumped. I was very surprised that I actually got this one. Yeah, you you like these from the get-go, I think. Uh, I think I kind of liked them, but I think it was more of the hype, really. But yeah. I, think it's gonna, I thought it was going to be a really good shoe to resell. I was wrong. Yeah, I yeah. noticed that. It dropped yeah, drastically. It, yeah, it drastically dropped. Um, yeah. I mean, as I'm sure you all are pretty familiar with the sneaker culture, it's it's a redo of a Nike Dunk and the Fragment collaboration from 2010. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's just kind of a redo on that one. I think one part of it being so so bad, or the reason because the resale has not been so good, has actually been the quality of the materials. Apparently. Huh. Um, they feel good. I think they felt pretty good. Um, it was, to be honest, it's the most comfortable Dunk I'd or Dunk High I'd put on, for me personally. Yeah. Um, I guess I kind of see that. The leather is kind of stiff. It's not the, I guess, the, the soft. softest stuff. Yeah. Um, at least not compared to my, my Midnight Navy ones, the uh, Jordan 1 highs on that one. Yeah. Do you have them over there? Yeah. Yeah. Right at the top. Bring these down. Do, yeah, do a little comparison. Yeah. These. It's just so soft. Yeah, so leather on this shoe is just amazing. This yeah. is probably my, my favorite shoe yeah. that I've gotten so far. But. Compared to this one, this is definitely much stiffer it, as yeah. Mary Bell itself. So, like, feeling this and then feeling this just feels like plastic. It does. Just kind of sad. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Because like you know, normally like the collaboration shoes have a lot better quality on them. Yeah. But not this one. I know. I wasn't super impressed by this. I'm not a huge Dunk fan um, anyway. I like Jordans, uh, like Jordan ones, instead of this. I feel like these are. Jordan One High Wannabes, <laughs> but um, I so I'm not I'm not the hugest Dunk fan, so sorry about that. But um, also the colors, I mean I know some people love purple a lot. I'm not a huge purple fan. Um, yeah. But and then like the quality of it, it just like feeling that compared to this is very very different. It really is. I'm kind of with their uh, purple and black. It's not really some of my go-to colorways. It's a good shoe, I guess, for the winter time. Um, you yeah. Know, some good, some jeans or some some khakis. But I feel like they didn't have the logo right here for yeah. fragments, and then you know, this kind of sits down there. On it has the bottom. like a, yeah, another little branding yeah. thing down here on the um, uh, white part or the white rubber. Um, but yeah, I'm with you. If it didn't have that, I think this would just be a regular dunk and not a collab. Oh, sure, yeah. But I mean, it wouldn't have even. I feel like really been on any, very many people's radars at all. No, uh, -uh. I doubt but, it. Like when Off White does a shoe, like you can tell there's a difference. You know, like they do a lot of different things to their shoes. They do. Um, but this one is just like you take away two of these things and it's just a normal dunk. That's true. But I like a little bit more pizzazz. I think <laughs> you do. You like you like brighter colors. Yeah. Compared to the darker ones. Yeah. The thing I was, I was kind of annoyed about when we got the shoe first, um, it's actually from the toe box on my pair. It was like a, a little scratch mark that's yeah. like part of the leather is actually carved out on it. Yeah. And I was really frustrated as a manufacturer on it. I know. It, we were like, usually when we get a shoe like this and we're not going to keep it, we will go ahead and put it up on like Goat and StockX or whatever um, to go ahead and resell it. And I noticed that scratch on there, and it was like, well, there goes the resale. Like, can't, yeah, can't do much with that. Really, but really can't, unfortunately. So, I don't know. Maybe in time, this will go up as you know, maybe a couple, three, four, five years down the road, and then maybe you can try to yeah. sell, sell them then. Maybe. So, I don't know. We might, we might try to do that later on. 
but at least for now, it's just, I feel like a kind of very, I feel like it's more like a general release kind of shoe, really, yeah. than a collab, but. I haven't been super impressed by these, like I, I have with our past shoes. I don't either. But, but tell us what y'all think. If you have these and you like them, um, I mean, I'm not knocking them, so if you like them, like, definitely go get them. Um, like, don't just take our word for it. But if you are looking for like a shoe that really just stands out and that's unique, this one is probably not the most unique shoe that you can get. I would say either. But hey, it could be a great beater shoe for you. With yeah. A little bit of hype behind it. For, you know, True. For honestly, a very reasonable price. I think it comes like $220 right now, maybe. Okay, man, I don't know. So, anyway. <laughs> I haven't looked in a while. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, anyway, that's everything down below, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, and we will see y'all in the next one. All right, bye, y'all. Right, see ya.